guys, Jared Krause, and in this video, I want to talk to you about flipping websites and is it actually profitable? Now, some of you guys don't even know what buying websites for passive income actually is, let alone flipping websites. Now, what you can do is you can invest in websites, businesses that are already making money, and the exact same thing as like buying investment property. But what you're doing is you're buying digital property online and same thing when you're investing in property sometimes people buy a property and they renovate it and then they flip that property and make a profit on that flip it's the exact same thing that you can do when you're flipping websites is you buy the website and then you can renovate it grow it a little bit and then flip it and that's what i want to talk to you about in this video is that can you really make money website flipping for the best advice on how to go away and buy online businesses that are past that 90% failure rate that all startups face and have a proven track record that are making money month over month, go away and hit the subscribe button. Also hit the bell notification so you can be updated when I upload new videos about this every single week. So let's break down not only what website investing actually is, but flipping websites and can you actually make a profit from that. Now for myself personally, I've been buying online businesses for many years and from, t from doing that now, I teach people to buy websites and my clients are earning thousands of dollars of money from those websites they've bought and they have the option. Do they want to buy and hold that business or do they want to buy it, grow it, renovate it and flip it? And that's what I want to talk about, whether you guys want to do the same as that method or go the method that I like to teach. Now, the first thing about buying online businesses, you can go away and look at website brokers that already have these businesses for sale or marketplaces like Flipper or Exchange Marketplace and look at all these businesses, they tell you how much they cost, how much they're making per month and you know what sort of work is required to run these businesses. Now, to flip websites, it's really good to have an advantage up your sleeve and knowledge on how to grow websites. So you can go away and learn that sort of stuff in you know marketing, SEO and different types of things you can do to grow an online business. Now that's really, really good for somebody who's already been in that field for quite a long time, but don't underestimate how quick it can be to learn something to grow a website. For myself personally, I've gone away and taught myself how to grow websites very quickly without any knowledge or any training. So when it comes to buying online businesses and buying websites for passive income, what I prefer to do is stick to the Warren Buffett method, which is what I like to sort of coin it or call it. And Warren Buffett, he goes away and buys businesses and holds on to them and just lets them grow and grow and grow and grow and grow. And there's many reasons for that. And I wanna go through those three reasons with you. Now, the first reason is because it's less work. Now, what do I mean by is it less work to buy and hold businesses? Well, when you go away and buy a website or an online business or any investment for that matter, you need to do a whole lot of research and due diligence into that investment to see if it's worthwhile purchasing. Now, when you do this once and you hold on to a business and grow it, you don't need to keep on looking and buying more and more websites all the time and it takes up less time. Now, also the fact that when you go away and buy a new website or a new business, you wanna learn about that business so you can grow it. By buying less and just buying one or a couple and holding onto them, growing them, growing them so much further into the future, you spend less time learning new businesses over and over again and less time having to work out ways to grow different types of businesses when you can stick to what you know over the years and build up a massive asset. So it's far, it takes far less time to go away and buy less businesses but spend more time on those or more productive time should I say in those businesses to ensure you're gonna get a far better result or return on your investment. The second reason is because it costs less money. Now, a lot of people think, you know, the more businesses you have, the more money you're gonna make, which isn't necessarily true. Now, when you go away and buy a website, you have to grow it, all that sort of stuff, you put it back on the market and you have to pay either the marketplace a little fee to list the property for sale, the digital property, the website that is, or you have to pay a broker to list that for you, for you and pay them a commission. Now, over time, and I used to know this from investing in stocks, over time, every time I bought and sold, I would pay a commission, which means each of those little commissions stack up overall and over like a long time of compounding all of that, I'm not sure if you guys have heard compounding interest, if you haven't, go away and check it out. Over time, that, that little fee compounding over 10, 20 years can add up to a massive chunk out of your return on investment and that's what most people don't actually factor into 
their portfolio and the amount of money they get back as a net profit in their investments. The third and final reason why I like to buy and hold websites instead of flipping them is that you get to buy and hold a website and you can use that as leverage. And what I mean by that is when you buy and hold a website, you can have a lot of other people over the long term you know, connect with you and start up joint ventures and partnerships because you're with that business for a longer period and those other people around you, you can, you know, they leverage off you and you leverage off them to help grow the business even further. It's a far smarter approach. Not only that is there's so much more leverage in other ways and another particular way is that when you buy and hold a business, say you, it's in the pet industry and you wanna hold on to that business and then you find another business that's in the pet industry as well, you can buy that business as a bolt-on business which can feed both businesses and help them grow them together. So that adds massive leverage in itself. Whereas when you start flipping websites or you buy something, build it, and just keep it for a little bit and then sell it, it's like you're, you're getting rid of what you can leverage in the future to grow a bigger and better asset. Now, I'm not dubbing flipping websites the worst thing to do at all. As a matter of fact, you can make a whole lot of money from it. I've seen people where they've gone and bought sites, you know, ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000, built them up and sold them for $60,000, roughly around that price range. And lots of studies where the people that have done that before. Now, I personally don't do that because if I built something up from a 10K business to a 60K business, I want to hold on that for many more years and that asset, just like a good wine you can store and keep, is just going to get more and more and more expensive and become more and more valuable. And that's why I like to buy and hold and keep my websites. So if you guys want some quick wins and some quick profits, sure, go about buying and flipping websites, which is can be very profitable, just a little more work. Or if you want to stick to the Warren Buffett method that I coin it, then you can go away and buy websites and hold on to them and grow them for the long term and get so much more leverage out of that asset as it ages. So guys, I hope you got a lot of value from this actual video. If you did and you have questions, please jump below, comment those questions below. I would love to be able to help you on your journey to making money online, not just from buying websites, but helping you grow your websites as well. And thanks for watching. If you've got a whole lot of value, go, for, go feel free to watch my next one. There should be a video or a link down below to go away and watch that. And I'll speak to you guys soon.